Hello, my lunar loves. Alrighty, so I just got done uh, filming a video earlier. It was uh, aimed towards my singles, and you know what? Right after, I wanted to do this reading. And this reading is going to be what blessings, unexpected news, what's coming your way, what surprises, okay? And I don't know, I just... Like I said, I feel like May was such a good month. I really do. And, you know, for me, it was a little bit, eh. <laughs> but I'm totally getting through it. And you guys, I really hope you are too. And, you know, what blessings are coming your way soon? You know, June blessings, so to speak. It's not the monthly yet, but, you know, let's get nosy. What blessings are coming soon? So pile number one is right here. It's going to be this butterfly, uh, butterfly glass. Pile number two is the Selenite Tower. Pile number three is the Crystal Quartz Point. Okay. You can choose one. You can choose all of them. But please only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay. And I will see you at your pile. Alrighty. Pile number one for those of you that chose the Butterfly Glass. Okay. Okay. This is your reading. So what unexpected news or blessings is coming your way? What I can tell you is that you've had some mental conflict indefinitely. I feel like, you know, things have just happened without any notice or any expectation like all things do. And like, it seems like things are hitting you left and right and you just, you didn't know what to focus on first. I feel like, you know, emotionally, you have been on a roller coaster ride. You've been up and down, you know. When times are good, they're great. And when they're bad, oh my God, when it rains, it pours. And I feel like you constantly go through these trials and tribulations and you just want them to stop. It just seems like, you know, life has just really come at you hardcore and it's not giving you a break. And I am sorry for that. I really, really do. Like, you are so strong and so amazing because I feel like no matter what, you're finally getting a grip on your emotions. And if you haven't, I feel like you will be very soon. I feel like something's happening. beautiful okay so what I have here is signs the universe has gently has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities okay and what I feel here is that you are seeing numbers you're seeing like 999 111 maybe even 555 okay and then 666 we'll get into the numbers right now um, basically you see these, especially when you are stressed out. I feel like, you know, when the worries come on, they come on like no other and they come on like, it's like a wave of worries. Like it's not just one, it's many all at once. And, you know, I feel like sometimes you kind of lose it emotionally or you start crying or something. And I'm not judging because I feel like so much comes at you all at once and it's so much that you do not know how to process whatever is coming towards you that's okay cry scream go punch something if you have to but allow yourself to feel what you feel never hold it in okay what i feel here is that if you see 111 that is definitely a new start get ready because things are starting to happen doors are opening up for you I feel like a new beginning is definitely here for you. I feel like with 555, that is the typical life change. It doesn't have to be bad. I feel like this is good. But whatever is changing in your life, however you perceive it, as bad, as good, or whatever, I feel like this is going to point you in the new direction that you need to take so you can have a new start in life. With 999, it's like you're almost there. You're almost there. With 666, stop concentrating on what you don't have. Concentrate and be grateful for what you do have. And focus on your spiritual self a little more. 
have faith in God. If you don't believe in God, do you believe in a higher power? If, you know, you're an atheist and you're here for whatever reason, just know that something good is going to come towards you. Feel it and believe it and know that you can make it happen for yourself as well. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that is the message that came through. With 999, I feel like that is the completion of a cycle. You're almost there. You have learned and you are going to be moving out of this cycle and into a new one, a more positive and more abundant one. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life, fruition, rest, rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Okay, so clearly God and the angels have been giving you signs. Okay, the universe, like I've already told this to like so many people, but to me, the universal language is numbers, math. I mean, and that is how our angels communicate with us is through numbers. You know, when I'm going through something, I definitely see 333 three, three, and 444 four, four right away. And it's so freaking beautiful because I just know that things will start looking up and things will start being more peaceful for me. And I feel like, you know, you have seen these numbers and maybe just dis disregarded them because of what you're going through. But don't do that to yourself. This is your angels and God letting you know that a new start is just, it's within your reach and it's going to happen. Be a little bit more patient and trust that everything is going to work out. And I feel it is. I feel like someone is offering you a new start. I feel like through all the chaos, I feel like through all the chaos, this is when finally something's going to happen like the dust is going to settle and you're going to see that with all this chaos it actually gave you a new start it gave you the opportunity to start fresh elsewhere and start anew this doesn't really mean like an actual move i just feel like something happened all at once to you and then when everything finally calmed down you realize that this put you at the start of your path that you are supposed to be taking i feel like this very well can be financial and i feel like this helps you to stand on your own finally you're getting your own finances you are your own person you are moving forward no matter what it is i feel like you know you have so many ideas so many wants and so many needs and i feel like you know you you can put in the work i feel like you're very smart you're very intelligent you know how to bring whatever you need towards you. You just need to believe and you need to work at it. Not physically work. I'm talking about mind power. Be positive. Expect the best. You know, if a negative thought comes on, it's okay to be realistic, but just know that everything's going to work out. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, it can't happen. It's like the powers of manifestation. Like maybe you're working with powers of manifestation. Maybe you're working with candle, crystal magic, or something of the sort. Or maybe altogether you're just outsmarting something. You're outsmarting, I don't know, maybe maybe like some kind of system. Um, maybe you're outsmarting someone. But you're taking an idea and making it work for you. And I feel like the universe is finally rewarding you. And you're going to get like a big break. And this big break is going to involve a new start. And with this new start, it's like you're moving on to peace. You're no longer going to feel stressed. You're going to be at peace within yourself just a minute here just a minute okay beautiful okay so 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1 is 16 16 plus 5 that is 21 you have a 0 and a king here so a 21 2 plus 1 is 3 and that's exactly what this freaking symbolized here okay and i'm sorry you guys i don't mean to get passionate but look number three in the tarot is the empress that is the birth of something that is like you know, the some kind of birth, creation, something, just something happened. You created something that actually became very fruitful, that became very abundant for you. Whatever it is, I don't know if this is, you know, some type of idea, some kind of creative endeavor. Maybe you invested your money somewhere where, you know, 
didn't look promising at first, but you're finally getting everything you deserve. You're getting it back and this is going to provide to you a new start so you can start being independent and living on your own. I feel like this is financial, but regardless, a new start is coming. You're going to be at peace. There is no more stress and worry unless you want it to be, but you are now your own person and you get to do whatever the hell you want number one that was just so freaking kick-ass i mean i really hope nothing but good for you i know that you have gone through some stuff so i'm definitely going to pray for you so you can get that extra positive energy number one i love you take care and god bless you okay see you later hello number two for those of you that chose the selenite tower okay this is your reading Alrighty. So right away, I feel like this is something creative. This is something creative you came up with. I feel like it could be online. So it could be like a blog, a vlog. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're even a YouTuber. Um, you're putting some kind of idea to use, though. Um, I feel like for some of you, you've partnered up like with your child or with like another um, another person. Like you're collaborating. And I feel like very soon you are going to have something to celebrate. What I'm also getting here is that you're getting communication that you're getting communication that something's working out or you're getting communication like I feel like it's communication for like a new job offer or something of the sort where you're going to use your voice to help lead and help others. Right here you have truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Here you have strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Okay, so yeah, again, I feel like there's something, you know, something's going on, you know. I feel like mostly it could be like public, public speaking, excuse me. Um... I feel like, you know, you're getting out of your comfort zone finally. You're taking a chance and you're having a voice. Maybe it's, I don't feel it's advocacy. I feel like you're telling your story. I feel like you're a person who has really, really had to remove themselves from a relationship situation or a way of life. I feel like you've given too much of yourself and never gotten much in return. I feel like you've always put your needs and wants and your dreams on the back burner. Like you've put them last and put everyone else's first. You've helped everyone else succeed, but this is your time to succeed. Yeah, I'm feeling like there was like a point in time very recently where you looked in the mirror and that was not the person you knew you were, you were like, this is not who you wanted to be. And I feel like you did something, something that for the first time in your life you wanted to do. I feel like you finally flipped it and you're like, you know what? I don't care who thinks what. I don't care who says what. I'm doing this because it makes me happy. And I feel like now you're being noticed. I feel like you're coming up in some way where you're finally living your truth. I, I even feel like it's so much as coming out of the closet and um, finally revealing to your mother, father, your family that maybe you desire people of the same sex or maybe you know you're bisexual maybe that you don't want to get married at all something of the sort you're not going according to tradition you're not going according to society standards and you're finally living that truth and you're proud of it and you found some kind of um, unique way to go about it or uh, a creative way to go about it and I feel like you know you are inspiring others to do the same. Wow. 
Interesting, interesting. Yeah, but I, I feel like it can all be connected. Like you're telling your story, blogging, blogging. I feel like maybe, I don't know if something's coming through about a book deal. Um, something to do with radio, radio, radio interview, podcast. Words are really coming through right now. Oh my goodness. Talk show, talk show. I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to be a part of something very important because of your past experiences. I feel like you really had to move away from a certain way of living, of being, of, you know, believing. And like I said, you've given so much of yourself and never really gotten back much in return. Now this is your time. You are standing tall and strong. You see, she's not right here, you know, waiting for anyone to save her. She's like, fuck that. I got my sword. You know, I'm taking this chance. This is my time now. And I don't care who likes it. I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, that's the look she has in her face. And, you know, she's holding her sword, her sword of truth. It kind of reminds me of justice without the blindfold. You know, like, instead of being like justice, like, she's already determined. She already knows the outcome. She already knows what she's supposed to do. And she's going to do it. Twenty-two. Okay, so uh, for some reason what I was called to do with this deck was add up the numbers. Now, you have six, eight, three, three, two. Okay, so six plus eight is fourteen. Fourteen plus three is seventeen. Seventeen plus three is twenty. Twenty plus two is twenty-two. Two plus two, twenty-four. I mean, I'm... <laughs> It's not 24. It is 4, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is fried. Excuse me. <laughs> but 4. 4 in the tarot. That is the emperor. So you are setting the foundations. Uh, of the foundation of your life. You are standing on solid ground. Because you are building from the ground up. You are building your own castle of dreams. So to speak. And you are going to make it happen. This is your time. You are a powerhouse. You have what it takes to be successful and more. And I feel like, I really, really feel like you're being noticed. I feel like you're being noticed in some way. Someone is coming to you. I'm, f I'm hearing like contracts, interviews, something of the sort. And, you know, it doesn't have to be famous, but I feel like it can go that route. Like, I feel like you're going to have s something very important to celebrate. And it's going to be something, you know that's going to be in your life for many years to come i feel like um everything you've went through in the past it's going to be appreciated i feel like you're finally living in your truth you're finally coming into your power and i feel like this is your time most definitely and definitely live this without regrets treasure each and every moment because i feel like this is you know even though there's going to be so much going on around you i feel like this is going to be a breath of fresh air so look out for it definitely look out for it opportunities to finally express who you are to express your truth jump on it take it and write it for as long as that wave goes on because i feel like you're going to have a blast i mean every day is going to feel like a celebration because you are finally doing something you love and you are finally you know telling your story but yeah i'm hearing most prominently like something to do with like radios books and um telling your story Wow. Number two, let me know if that resonates. It's really amazing, you guys. I wish you the best of luck. Take care and God bless you, especially during this time. And best of luck to you, okay? See you later. Bye. Hello, pile number three. For those of you that chose the crystal point, this is your reading. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I feel like you've gone through a very, very, very big and prominent spiritual change, okay? This is not what's coming. This is what you are actually coming out of, all right? I feel like there are so many lessons 
you've had to learn and overcome and now is your time i feel like especially spiritually you are on top of your game you are on top of the world your abilities are heightening um you have here intuition trust your intuition it has been guiding you to the answers that you seek no limitations you are a celestial being with unlimited potential and there is much for you to share and then courage live your life fearlessly with courage strength and determination and i feel like that's what's happening here like you went through some kind of spiritual awakening um a kundalini rising maybe you have just come out of a dark night of the soul with again a spiritual awakening where you're just knowing that the life that we are taught to live is not everything i feel like it, it's kind of like breaking out of the matrix like in the movie when neo is finally you know exposed to the world as it actually is and knows how to you know fight the matrix and um I mean, it's not like intense like that, but I feel like you're finally waking up and seeing that, you know, life is not all that bad. Life is not all that serious and that every bad thing in life, I mean, was for a reason. Like everything was a lesson and these lessons, you know, pushed you on this path and led you to where you are today. And the person you are today is, you know, or at this moment in time when you are watching this, this is a person that you never thought you could be this is a, a point in life that you never thought that you could uh, reach or accomplish i feel like you've really really come a long way and i feel like finally you know you are just conquering life living it and you're manifesting your truest desires i feel like your dreams are coming true just a moment sorry about that I'm feeling like you've just been like at war with yourself and finally, you know, you're just, you have like that inner peace or like you've really healed, healed. That's what I'm he hearing. That's what I'm healing. Oh my God. You guys, I got to go to bed after this, <laughs> but I feel like you've really, really healed. I feel like you've really put in the work and now you're going to start reaping the rewards. I feel like this is strongly related to love. I feel like you've transformed. I feel like you've learned all the lessons you need to learn and I feel like love is coming for you. I feel like, you know, you're going to have a new beginning very soon. I feel like, you know, all of your wishes, you know, your dreams, your daydreams, everything is going to happen as you saw it. Um, I feel like you get like this hunch on where to go, where, you know, who to hang out with, what to do. And I feel like it brings you that closer to your soulmate. Um, and it's not just that. I feel like something's going on in the work sector where you've been really, really putting in a lot of hours. I feel like maybe... You know, you're wondering if working, especially during this time, you know, we're in COVID-19 right now. Um, we're in the pandemic. I feel like, you know, you've probably had to put in some hard, hard work and you've had to put up with so much, but that has not gone unnoticed. I feel like your employer, your peers, someone around you has taken notice and they are going to reward you. They are going to reward you by making your job easier and possibly giving you a pay raise and you know this is coming i feel like um i feel like your intuition is telling you don't slack off keep going this is going to pay off um i keep hearing pursue your dreams while you work your regular job i i heard nine to five but so just keep going i feel like something different is coming along very soon I feel like this is connected to another reading because I feel like you're going to get the opportunity to travel or maybe you're going to be rewarded with a business trip that's also like a vacation. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get a small promotion or like um, you're going to be transferred to a department where they're going to help you utilize your abilities in a much more efficient efficient way is that the right way of saying it 
Yeah, I feel like you're like, you know, there's I see the wings on her back. You know, this is the nine of cups right here, mind you. But I feel like, you know, you're finally getting wings to fly. So maybe that promotion at your job gives you more, you know, authorization of some things, um, gives you like um, more respect. You know, you get more respect, you get more. Um, I don't know, I keep hearing perks. That's interesting, though. Yeah, just get ready because you've done all the work. You know something good is coming. I feel like, you know, you've really healed from something. you really transformed. And you've really proven yourself. I keep hearing proving yourself. And I feel like, one, you're getting a really, really, a really, really beautiful start in love. A new start. Someone is coming towards you and someone is, um, you know, trying to uh, give you that relationship. And then two, work, work, you're succeeding. And if, you know, it's not love that you're after, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're being like promoted at work, you're getting a pay raise, and then they're awarding you a position that was created especially for you. And then you're going on a business trip that is also like a vacation. You can take that how it resonates. But um, I also feel like this is awarded to you because you've always made the right moves based off of your intuition nonetheless i feel like you know you like the sky's the limit but you go beyond that and you have the courage to stand up for what you believe in you have the courage to make your decision and you know you always have a good explanation for it right or wrong but you make your decisions to the best of your ability and with heart and again with intuition Yeah, it's like these attributes in you, like your employer sees someone, you know, who's real, your employer sees someone who, who, you know, benefits the company because they care. And that's very, very rare, you know, and <laughs> I am hearing that it appears you care, but really you care about making money for you and for your family or something of the sort. But your employer appreciates the hard work that you've put in and continue to do and you're going to be rewarded most definitely okay and then what i've been doing with all of them let's see here i'm gonna add okay 13 21 13 and 21 let's see here That's 34. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm Like I said, I have to go to sleep after this. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 49. So 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, so the number 4. Let's see here. Just a moment. I think I may have added that wrong. That's what I was looking at. Okay, 13, 19, 20, 29. Yeah, I added that so wrong, you guys. You guys, I'm not retarded. I'm just a little sleepy. I've had a long day. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this all over again. So that's 21. Um, 21 plus 9 is 30. Let's see, 30, 30, 43, 49, 50. Okay, so five. It wasn't 49, it wasn't four, it was five. I knew I had to add that again. Sorry, you guys, this is so weird. Okay, look, I didn't plan this, I swear to God. But pile one added up to three, pile two added up to four, pile three adds up to five, okay? Five. So you guys just moved through the Empress, Emperor, and now this is the Hierophant in the Tarot. That is fucking amazing. I love how spirit works. So 
regardless you know we are on the path of the major arcana ladies and gentlemen you are number five the hierophant so you are definitely leading by example i feel like you are definitely going to be leading others and very soon so again it could be that promotion you have a traditional way of doing things i feel like you know you make you make decisions based on your intuition but you also go by the book a lot you do what is best what benefits the company i feel like you have honor i feel like you have um determination i feel like you have um basically just the will to do what is right okay even when you make the wrong decisions it was for the right reasons and you stand by that and i feel like again your employer appreciates that and i feel like again you will definitely be rewarded you guys this is just so beautiful and with five five always always symbolizes changes okay but with the hierophant as well i take that in a very spiritual sense where you know spirit is listening and one of these days you will be a um some type of spiritual leader yourself i just feel like that's a small message for just a handful of you out there but yeah your healing is definitely and beautifully done and i feel like you know you have really transformed like you are just not the same person you were last week i feel like you've truly truly changed and now you know the rewards are going to start coming in so all of that hard work was not in vain you are getting you know you are going to uh, get back all of the good karma and all of the blessings that you deserve okay pile number three thank you so much you guys for sitting with me and watching that i love you guys so much okay take care god bless you all right bye